And welcome back to the Port Macquarie Regional Stadium for what should be an enthralling contest here between the Central Coast Dolphins and the West Magpies. I'm joining commentary here with Jason Stanton. Jason, looking forward to this one? Mate, uh, very exciting game, this one. This is semi-finals, come a day early. As the Dolphins head for the line. Some good defence there. Blackwood playing in the middle. What do you think the theory is behind that one? Jace, it's been all weekend. Black, Blackie moving from link to the middle. Yeah, it's been, it's been interesting. Uh, the, the West have adapted a bit on uh, a few games trying to get the formula right. And they struggled yesterday, um, you know, without a win. So this is pretty much their weekend here. So I think it's going to be a very interesting game. So uh, definitely uh, if you're at home... Buckle up. Yeah, buckle up, stick with us. Long oh, ball, Belcher should be a try. Throws it over the top for the line, the dipsy doodle, the finish. Ollie Jones opens the scoring for the Central Coast Dolphins. And I'll take a 1 0 lead into this one. Yeah, and a very good, good finish there by Ollie Jones out there. You don't, not every winger scores those ones. He had two or three coming across in cover, but he was nice and calm and very good finish there in the corner. You're referring to the, the days when I used to play Premier League with you, Jason. Just couldn't quite get there. Didn't have the foot speed. Is that, is that what you're referring to? Yeah, some of us aren't good enough anymore. <laughs> Nathan, you included, brother. But um, uh, this is good. And that's um, another try. Um, Central Coast from a repeat set. They, 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 they're they really dangerous when you give them that six again, Central Coast. So we're going to have to be mindful of that this morning. There's Catalano over the top to Costello. We spoke yesterday. He's got hands like baseball mitts. Justin Costello, and he throws it over the top to the evergreen. Robbie Knuckler, and Knuckles on the wing. You played with him for many a year. Jace? Yeah, that was a very good finish there by West, and good to see the Catalano brothers there in the middle teaming up there. Very, very good play. Let's see whether um, we can see a bit more of that. They're going to need more of that if they want to challenge Central Coast. Yeah, and Central Coast will go forward and look to extend their lead, or extend... Get the lead, in fact, and the ball's picked up. Flaherty out ball, and it's good defence. And Chris Lennon on that out line, and Luke Kane's on the field, and he's dangerous, loves to sweep Luke Kane, and Neeble there, and ball picked up by Jones. And we were discussing that yesterday, funny enough, I had a conversation with Kim Skelly this morning about, about that, and he's, uh, without throwing him under the bus here, he's a very big believer of if he's shutting down the actual play to... You know, by getting in good position, then uh, if, he, if he gets in the passing lane, then you know, that he's playing at the ball. That's his view, which, as he said, I think it's up for discussion. I don't think there's a black and white on I think they all get interpreted differently, and that's what we were talking about. That was the beauty of the discussion yesterday, Jase. Yeah, very good there yesterday. Luke, Luke Kane trying to construct something. This is, that, this is that repeat set we were just talking about with Central Coast. They're really hard to hold out, and West are, gonna, West are a lot, lot more vocal in this set, and they've got the good result there, so... And as you said yesterday, the West, the West Magpies obviously dropping uh, a couple of games and putting themselves under a little bit of pressure. But this is really never say die, is it? There's, there's nothing left in the tank. And, and you know, I think you called it yesterday and said they were going to come out firing and, and the energy so far. And Phillips will get to half. He picks it up and definitely four or three. Heckendorf calls it that way. And it's been a good start, though, from both sides. End-to-end -end stuff early. Yeah, it has been. Central Coast have got to keep building throughout their weekend because they're looking for Sunday footy. West are very desperate now where they could be out if they don't get the result here. And we're quite fortunate enough. We've got three, three very classy referees there too, Nathan, where you know they're going to keep these sides apart and make for a good game. We saw yesterday as a bat on goes forward in the West box. You can hear him there. Luke Moffat with the bat on. Couldn't be enough, as you said. Couldn't quite hold on to it. You made some comments yesterday, Nathan, at, at, at the tail end of the West game where they, they sort of went a bit more direct and played a bit more of a rolling type style rather than slowing it up. And that's when they looked good. So it'll be interesting today to see whether they, like what we're seeing here, whether they have more of that. That's exactly what that's we're Kazi talking about. Yeah, Kazi Barricat will score. We spoke about it yesterday. Their first two sets here today, ladies and gentlemen, have been nice and direct. They're transitioned through the box. And that there, Kazi gets in behind the line, and it's Chris Barakat. Yeah, they, they really gave Jason Kazi time there, and a player with his ability, you can't afford to hang off. He can hit short, he can hit long, he can beat you with his feet. 
and that was a bit of a warning shot there, I think, for Central Coast that uh, West are here to play. And that will not help the Central Coast cause there with a little error off the tap and referee Calabria all over that one. He's got the, the fresh fade for the weekend, uh, young Tony, and we've got a foot in the ruck there and Tony knew that. How often do we see that, Jace? We see an error and then the young fellas, they uh, compound it with, with a penalty, a little bit of frustration and they, they give, give it away straight away. Yeah, and this is another good role from West again here. Let's see how Central Coast handle this, this drive because this is, this is what we're seeing. That's Cassie again with the ball. Out to, out to Costello. They're trying to set something up. Junior calls for the ball. This is much better from West on the run in. This is going to be hard to stop for the coast. Long ball to the winger. And I think there's a touch oh, out there. there. Heckendorf's pointing down. It's a try. Robbie Knuckler grabs his second. And I'll tell you what, Chase, you called it yesterday. The Western Suburbs Magpies, they're here to play. Yeah, and we just spoke about that with Jason Cassie again. You can't afford to give good ball players time that way. These Premier League players on both sides, they're, they're, they're really exceptional at the long ball, the short ball. You can't hang off them. And Jason Cassie made him pay. And Robbie Nackler looking quite youthful there on the wing with another try. Here's Kane. Mm, Kane long ball. A top. great There's ball. No Inside should be a shoot. try. And it is. And that'll be Nebel. Hemi Nebel scores. And a simple hit back. Luke Kane, he's a dangerous player with that left to right pass. And a lot of the... I think something that we was spotted in the, the Vorden Cup that uh, they play the, the 32 platform or the, or the ML platform and they throw left to right uh, the Central Coast, a little bit one-dimensional in that phase, in that aspect of the game, Jase. Yeah, Luke Kainer, he, he's, he's very strong at that. And, the, you know, for those sort of, um, I wouldn't say new to the game, but just to unpack that a bit is Nathan with the 32 platform. He's talking about with the two middles dumped together and then the, the link comes charging onto it to throw long. So um, it's um, a very common play. You'll see a bit of that throughout today where they'll, they'll set up with the two middle players in the field doing a dump and then the player either side of that, the link coming charging onto it, run that offside players. It's really effective. So good hit back from Central Coast. Let's, let's see whether West can respond through JP. Catalano for the line. And yeah, great defence there. By Jared, I think it was. And there's Conti in. Conti will play it and looks for the quickie, but they go back to Junior. And Junior working with Kazzy. And Junior and Kazzy gives back. the space there. And Josh Six Moffat, again. very good. There's another example of it. Josh is pointing at his hip there and talking about that. And that's, a, as we mentioned before, that's another part of the knocking the ball down process. They didn't realise it was so common. It seems to be quite a... Uh Quite a feature in most games, all those six against, trying to work out was it played at it or not? Was the defender in the channel or not? It's I, think it's, I think it's like anything, Jace. When you uh, start talking about it, then becomes a little bit more uh, noticeable. And it's like buying a car. If you buy a car, you seem to notice that car just about everywhere once you once you make that purchase. And it's a little bit, a little. It's turning into a little bit like how how that is. We we spoke about that yesterday, and all of a sudden, there's people getting in the passing lane, knocking balls down left, right, and centre. Yeah, well, when, when the touch is made on the seven, the referee is going to call the line. So that's going to put a lot of players offside, having to run backwards and being under pressure. So generally, the defence get help from the outside players coming in. And that's where we're seeing more and more of this, you know, defenders being between attackers and, you know, slapping the ball down or getting in the way of the pass. We saw that with the, the try to Barricat where Kazzy actually got poked his head through the line as they go for Flaherty. Flaherty pops it over the top and... Knuckle is there and makes a touch. Yeah, great call by Badger. I really like like seeing that from referees where they we were talking about it yesterday where the attacking team gets a good chance to run their play even though defenders are offside and the referee allowing that to unfold and coming back for the penalty. It's uh, really good to see from the refereeing team. Flaherty here. It's a dangerous play. Gives the ball like it's Belcher. A Nebel, sorry, Nebel steps and dives and Catalan is onside. Referee Baggio, Johnny on the spot. For that one, and there's Belcher there, and Nebel gives it off the ground. A flat, he dives, and Baggio is happy with that one. You can tell from the referee body language straight away. He was back, and Catalano, whilst pleading his case, and a little sweet play there, and the dive from Flaherty. Yeah, it was it was an interesting one there. The last probably two or three minutes with West, they're probably not talking as much on the line, not getting up as much. And again, as we've seen with players at this ability on, on both sides, you give them a bit of time and space. 
and it, most times it's going to result in a try, Nathan. Yes. With three all here, and they run the ML platform, as Jay said before, the middle, middle play, and they're looking for that split, and Kazzy and Blackwell to work together, and they're looking for, I believe that's Conti there. If Kazzy picks it up, he steps and takes him on. He's, he's touched him, and all oh, the arms been thrown out, and it was Kyle Jemine there. He was offside, and Kazzy took full advantage. I think he touched him in the end, but I think referee Heckendorf has ruled that he was offside first, affected the play. It's a good refereeing by Luke, and Blackwood goes, and they strike there through Raina Badior. Yeah, really good defence there by Coase. Yeah, there's Jemine again making the touch, and Kazzy looks to throw, and they're running out of options. There's no space on this side. Costello, the man with the baseball mitts for hands, he's there. And there's Blackwood, and they'll work together. Two experienced campaigners. Blackwood gets it. Costello steps. He dives. He's got the big arms out, but that's Raina Badia with a good touch. Yeah, really solid defence there again from Central Coast. And it's quite interesting contrasting that defensive set from Coast to the previous set from the Magpies, where the Magpies were a bit standoffish -y and sort of almost watching the play or waiting for it. Central Coast were very active then getting up. And now they've got a really good result. And now that's the third touch and they're well over halfway and got a really good platform to attack here. Yeah, we had Carly talking yesterday about the, the momentum of, of teams and the way, you know, the third touch is, is sort of the, the platform and where you want to be if you, it's a result of positive or negative of whether you're over halfway. Is that, is that usually the, I suppose, the measuring stick of, of where it's at these days, Jace? Is that, is that touch three? If you're over halfway, you're in a good position. Is that the general rule of thumb? Yeah, generally you want it, like obviously <laughs> you get there as quick as you can, so two's even better, but three's a pretty good reference point or marker for you if you're, if you're subbing and getting on halfway on three, you're really in a good position to do some damage. And the dive for the line from the Dolphins and the referees go for substitute. Yeah, and the ball, out ball, the double pump and look and... Josh Moffat with Luke Kane there. And Moffat picks it up, gives it to Kane on the bounce and quick ends. And there's Josh's brother Luke out there on that side. And Mother really Lynn. good defence there by Nakla. So this is interesting there if you're watching at home. Let's, let's have a look at the West D line and compare that back to the previous set. Seeing how active they are and, and how much they're sort of holding the line because there's a definite link between that and, and how effective the defence is. Kazi with a four sub here and... Phillips is coming on the field and he'll get on side and they'll be able to, to re reset that line. And as you said, we'll see how the Magpies choose to defend this. I, I think, I'm not sure if you can hear it through the sound effect mics, but the box, a little bit more quiet. They might be a little bit nervous. The Westies as Barricat shoots off the line to make the touch on Moffat. And they give the ball back and that's Lennon on the field as well. And they'll go Belcher. No, Moffat will go the link quickie. He throws it long out to Adida and Kyle oh, Adida. Very strong defence there, shoot on the wing. Pretty and easy, actually. Lennon, he skips and he flicks. and Blackwood covering, he does the, the balk at it and the ball goes to ground. And there's Belcher up to make the touch and Phillips gives it away. And there's Barricat, the try scorer, one of the try scorers for the Magpies. And there's Batar. And here comes Conti, gives it back to shoot. That was slightly forward and Luke Heckendorf. He doesn't miss much, Luke Eckendorf, and he's all over that, the pass. It's very hard to pass across your body, isn't it, Jace, when that momentum comes on? They, they need to square their body up and get into a better position if they're going to be doing that. They can't afford to turn the ball over against this side. Yeah, they went, just got caught being a little bit lateral there, and it was, it was good to see Luke um, Eckendorf, referee, just make a quick call and get on with it. Not, not sort of too much debate or discussion. Um, you know, decisive calling, which was solid. Uh, this is an animated conversation on the sideline between James Blackwood and, and Dave Baggio at the moment. They look inside and the ball's away. Moffat will score. No. no. Heckendorf. Good little period here from Luke Heckendorf here. He's, Costello gets past him. The tall timber. He's up near halfway. And the Westies, this is the momentum they need here. They go wide. And there's Conti to shoot. And that one was backwards. Conti taking extra care with that. And there's uh, Tashi. Taking the ball up near the line and they're shooting. He gives the ball away and they just need to go direct. And Catalano dumps it for the brother. They go the rooster play and he gets it round and intercepts Kazzy. But they, they look, West look dangerous. There's a significant difference between the West yesterday when they go nice and direct and fast. 
Yeah, well, you could notice it there. Was it, you know, you were talking earlier, Nathan, about, uh, you know, Coach Carly Banks talking about three being the bit of the yardstick. And Steve Tashy, just sort of keep your eye on him this morning if you're watching. Almost every time you're getting that second or third touch over halfway with momentum. And uh, I think you gave Steve a wrap yesterday, and then we saw it again then, you know, really setting that platform for West. And hopefully we see more of that because that's a good challenge for Central Coast, and they need to be challenged here. They this need morning. players on, and the Coast are going to whack them here if they're. If they're not careful, and there's Barricat. Nicholas gives it away to Conti, and they're going to go down. There's Nick will pick it up from dummy half. He steps and goes the, the passive, but that transition there from West was a little bit slower. The players there struggling just to get on, and it showed that where uh, I think Central Coast, they smelt a bit of blood in the water, and they were able to push up off the line. I think it was Luke Moffat really shut them down, and you lose one or two touches in this little 20-metre zone here when you're transitioning. It can have a real big effect on the latch at the end of the play, isn't it? Yeah, it does. So what, so what we're talking about there, you want to be getting your, your third touch, then, then the player's coming on from the sub box, sweeping around the back, or trying to get defenders in trouble, or you're trying to you know, get him to stick with you. That's, that's what they're calling that latch, coming around the back. So Central Coast are very effective of that. We saw a little bit of that uh, with Dawson, I think, yesterday afternoon. But um, interesting, see this West set, how they go into the box here, a little bit lateral. And I think you'll mention, Nathan, they, they do look stronger when they're more going, you know, knocking down the front door, I think. Yeah, they take that one or two early. I don't think that set helped. They earned the penalty here with Costello. But I think if you watch from the set, uh, from the five metres down here when they were actually set, I think uh, referee Calabria had a very small five. And I think that has an impact in the end. Um, if they can't get any moment, and you hear... You hear a lot of the teams, and there's, there's that transition we spoke about. They need to get that right. I think that's you know, Coach Barakat and a couple of the other coaching staff they've got down there. They'll be re reiterating that to the boys. They've got to get that right. Uh, it was a bit of a turning point because Wes had the penalty, and we had Steve Tashi and Jason Cassie coming on to set something up, and now it's almost reversed. A bit of a momentum swing. So this is a big set uh, for Wes. They've really got to hold out Central Coast. And Flaherty will throw long, and it's Tarts, and Adida just lets it fall, and... And I think the play, I think Mads and Kai here have, have whacked each other's shins <laughs> or trodden on each other's foot. So either way, they've both got a, a bit of a limp there. You would have seen that on screen. Kai Adida, very fast young player, can also sing. He's musically gifted. He did a couple of songs during lockdown for New South Wales Touch to post. So, uh, gifted, gifted young man. Uh, as Flaherty goes a link quickie, and they go the out ball with Moffat and Costello. That's the outstanding defence there, the, the stall from Costello, but referee Baggio. Yeah, I think he wants him to be going up there. The, it was interesting there with Flaherty's pass, Nathan, when you, you mentioned earlier about running one way and trying to pass the other, and that's quite a difficult skill. And Flaherty made it look easy, running from right to left or towards the top of your screen and throwing it all the way back to the winger. Very skillful. And they dive for the line, the big dive. Calabria is going to have a look, and he's... Going in the way of West, I think. Definitely not rattled by any stretch here, the Central Coast side, but they know they're up for a fight with just under 12 on the clock. Moffat picks it up. They go to the link. Cassie's offside by a mile there. Referee Calabria and referee Heckendorf, they're going to have a conversation, and Luke goes one way and then the yeah, other. Catalano, outstanding defence there on the inside to, to support Cassie. Very good teamwork there. As they go, Moffat was the call, and they oh, hit there. It's got shooting. James, shoot. Where did he come from? Very solid defence out there on the wing. And this is an example here. If they don't go forward, Costello will straighten them up. Look at him, Costello. He just chews the metres, and there's Catalano. He ducks, and he's whacked on halfway. They got they earned the penalty yeah. last time. Yeah, and I was going to say, mm. if, they, if they're going to give the penalty last time, they have to give that. A little bit of ill-discipline creeping in there for the coast. I think they had that, I think that was third or fourth touch there. They, they had that, I feel like they were doing it quite well. And Wes here, they've been struggling with the box. You'd almost, you know, forego the touch, bit of a feather touch there and let I think Wes so. roll on with how they are because they've been a little bit ineffective. But now they give away the penalty and I've got a chance to attack the line. I think so. Three all now. This is the momentum swings. It's a really, really interesting game. And as I said earlier, this is like a semi-final already. Numbers out here to the side. And Knuckler gives up on, on that one maybe five or so years ago. And that's a very quick set. I'm not sure if that's last. We might have had a miscount there, but it happens sometimes. I think there's only a couple of touches in that set, but it's all good. Let's see how yeah, West defend. Yeah, that's an interesting one there. Um, 
We'll roll on, as you said. There's, there's things that happen, and, and we get on with the game here. Touch, it's that quick that you, you don't have a chance to uh, to think about, especially in the men's 40s, Jase. You don't really get a chance, do you? You're too busy catching your breath. And Belcher picks it up. He's got some speed. This could be a game changer, this one. Belcher is looking for some port. Here he throws it over the top, and he's had to go backwards. West. Oh, Tashi turning back the clock. Steve Tashi showing absolute class there. And Belcher, how about the speed show? Then he almost had too much time, Nathan. He got, he got in there and had a few seconds. Well, by the time he ran away from the defence, it was that, you're right. He had, he had too much time. He was too quick for his, you know, support players. And there's a bit of miscommunication. And Kazi will step and flick pass and long pass over the top looking for Masashi. And it's a forward pass. So they'll head back over the other side of the field. But... Yeah, Belcher was almost too quick. He got away from the support players and then it actually allowed West a time. And there's been two touches, that, that from Tashi there, but also Blackwood, uh, probably about four or five minutes ago on a play, he, he made that extra effort to dive. And I feel like we didn't really see that from West yesterday. That was, a, was almost superhuman from Blackwood earlier to make the touch. And they're two big plays that, that have made a big difference and the reason why it's still 3 all. But West choosing to roll to the line and Kane throws over the top. Masashi chases out Masashi. And there's another one there with Barricade. If he doesn't chase across there, we've got ourselves a try. But West. Madsen Barricade scrambled well there. Luke Kane really trying to put together a good set here, trying to put West away here at three all. West are desperate. They're hanging in there. Let's see what Kane comes up with. And the out pass and Kazzy all over Moffat. They give it back and. There's Nebel, and they're going to go to the Rooster play. They give it back to Nebel. Nebel steps off the right, gives it back to Moffat. And he's looking and pointing at Kazzy, and they'll go that same play in the pullout inside the seven. That's okay for those of you playing home. Yeah, Referee Heckendorf. Too smart, Moffat. It's too smart. Just gone out, I think, on that first one. They earned the right, and then the second one, he went outside the seven. So for those watching at home, if you go to dump inside the seven, once you enter inside the seven, the, play, the defensive line can retreat. But until then, you can't. The strike comes, and that's too smart. The Dolphins, he's run away from the, the wing. That's great scramble. The Magpies here, they're going to rue yesterday, aren't they? They're going to look back and, and be a little bit disappointed that they're in the position they're in. Now it's not completely over for them. They need a lot of things to go their way, including the, the back end of this game, the big dive. And that's Catalano leaving the Catalano. ground. Catalano, that's when he plays his best footy, Nathan, when he's, when he's driving and defending that way. Great play there by Catalano to save the try. West are hanging in there, 3-3. Three, three. Let's see what they've got here. Oh, That's Max. a great ball. and We've got another penalty here from Heckendorf and Catalano's down in the middle of the field here. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't miss what... I actually missed what happened then because I was following the ball, but I think that's the second... Is that the second was, penalty That is in the a second row? penalty, yeah, yeah, but we've had... Uh, there's some contact, heavy contact on the... I believe it was... Uh, might have been Flaherty after he passed. I think the, the players met. Yeah, I'm not sure. That, the referees up until this point like, have been like, very solid, very decisive in what they've been doing. So I actually miss what happened here, but I'm sure they'll come up with a good outcome and we'll have a great finish to the game here. Last five or six minutes, three all. West pretty much playing, playing for the tournament if they, if they can't get the win. Central Coast, probably not to prove to anyone else, but almost to themselves that in these tight games, they can... They can gain gain ascendancy late, get a couple tries and put teams away. So I think that counts as two penalties. I'm not too sure. Is that two? Or yeah, it's two penalties. I'm guessing the next one's a sub. I'd yeah, it'll be a free sub. And they go Nebel and Kane dummies. And he steps and he's lightning on his feet. And they go sweep play and over the top. And he's almost given up on it. And Blackwood... Yeah, very strong there, Nach Nackler and Blackwood. Good recovery. Barricade there as well. Good D out there. And they'll go over the top and he's thrown away Moffat. And they're pumped. Barricade, you can see it. I hope you can see it on screen. You've got Chris Barricade out here pumping the troops up. He's pumped with that defensive effort. There was back-to-back -back and repeat sets and they've handled well. They've just got to get up the other end of the field here. They need that open seven. Now look at Steve and Tashi again. Tashi again. We talk about speed, we talk about ability. You've got, you got a 39, 40-year-old out there going straight at this, this classy Central Coast team. Great to see. And look at that. That's only third touch. This is a really good opportunity. They go the sweep with Blackwood. Costello just picks it up. Oh, 
They've got to go to get the try, are they? The Magpies. Phillips. Phillips, they're happy. Calabria. He waves it and says try time. What about the hands on Justin Costello? He picked that up. It's almost like he's playing with a different ball. He's got a little tennis ball in his hand there. Mate, I got confused for a second. I thought he was going to have a dribble and dunk it. I thought I was watching a different sport. Costello. I don't know. We're all, we're all playing with the standard size. He's got the little, the mod, he's, he's, he's got the junior state cup ball there, Nathan. <laughs> the way he's wielding it around. If you get a chance to watch that again, unbelievable skill that from Costello. And as we said yesterday, if you've got hands like baseball mitts, that, that can happen. But 4-3, the Magpies and the Spirit. It's Moffat again. He has a lot of time with the ball, doesn't he, Moffat? He certainly does. A little boy play, and I think that's... It was probably forward, but hopefully doesn't. nothing comes out You're of it. You've got to scramble again. Look at him. Barricade, he gets out, and the Westies, they survive. This is a massive four minutes here for the Coast and West. And this is shaping up based off yesterday, which is what you... Work Good the try by off. Catalano. Here comes Kazzy. This is better from West, and they're going to get the result. They get the penalty there. Heckendorf, just a little shake of the head. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this, Nathan, because West is sort of more finding their DNA about how they need to be playing to compete at the level. And, and I'm also enjoying Central Coast being challenged because I, I, I do think they're a good chance to win the whole, the whole tournament, and this is exactly what they need Saturday morning to get there, you know, to be challenged and to sort of test... Test that, that mental toughness with the Dolphins. I'll be looking for a, another one here. Blackwood goes. He's offside. Jemine, he is. Yes, Blackwood. Oh, the box. They're pumped. They're hugging. I think the link. Oh, I, I can't the link catch his name. Was it Moffat? I think the link made the touch. The middle was offside there. But I think the, the defensive link, I can't quite catch his number. But it was, it was I think it's really Rainer, good read. Rainer Badia, I think, is out there. And that's smart from Blackwood. And... I'll bring on the troops and the defensive troops. And as you said, Tashi will come on with Bitar. Phillips gets off the line and that sub there, they're a little bit off the pace and allows Dolphins to start this set with momentum. And But oh, Tashi, he gets up and the three just on the other side of halfway. Here comes Moffat. Brother Josh, uh, brother Luke and Josh there. There's Raina Badia goes down and Flaherty goes left to right and shoot. Shoot just guards yeah. it. Great read by shoot there. Excellent set. Um, I know he stubbed off now, but Rainer Badia, a really strong read there on the line to save the try. Then got a good platform, a good drive. Subbed on, got the fresh players on. Very strong play there by Rainer Badia, but unfortunately, Coast couldn't get the result, and here comes West. They've only got a couple minutes to go. If they keep the drive going, it's going to be tough for Central Coast. Another strong dive there by Takshi. Then Kazi, Catalano. They're really... Really pressuring Central Coast here. Let's see if the Dolphins can respond. And this is a massive game, as we said. Yeah, they're two points and Beresfield on four at the moment as it sits. And they play Beresfield in the next game. If they can hold on here, the Magpies, they keep their State Cup alive. And this is a huge game for them. And as we spoke about, it's, it's not dead yet. And they're currently in the lead with a minute 40 on the clock. And this will test at the championship minutes. And, oh, shoot in again. Shoot in again with a minute 30 to go. Yeah. And they're not in a hurry. Costello just... It was a nice line there, Nathan, from Rainer Badia, but James Shoot. In position and gets that, and they've got a minute 24, and this is the moment here. You just go you just go up the field, and Barricat has missed the touch here. Heckendorf has decided, and also there's a minute 10 to go on the clock. There's, they'll well, get we're a set, had to hold the, the ball. We're saying he had to hold the ball, and they've invited Dolphins in, and this is, this is going to be a good test. Championship teams get a try here, Nathan. Let's see uh, what Dolphin can produce here with Moffat in the middle. Well, they're just going to stand off. There's probably no need for a touch and earn the penalty here. And they've got to be careful, though, Wes, that they don't end up with someone in the bin here if there's a professional foul. And there we go, we've got the four subs. So big chance for the Dolphins here if they can. And you can see Calabria yelling. Here, and it gives an opportunity for Tashi to come on. So there's 39 seconds to go. And they go forward. There's Belcher with the ball, and they're still standing there. That'll be two. And he points again. They're going to go. Bad Baggio, he's, he's... Oh, that's going to be a sin bin here, if not more. And Kazi's given him the, an I'm extra. Not so, yeah, I'm not so sure on that, Nathan. We've had, like, sub, sub. There wasn't even a touch. Never got... And nearly 15 seconds on the clock. The, mm. the, tap, the penalty wasn't even given. 
So it's questionable there as it is. And they go long. They've got a nine on one out there. And shoot inside. And they've done it, the Magpies. Yeah, I think that was a fair result. It would have been a shame to see it result on that, on a double sub in the time, Nathan. And we've got a little bit of chaos at the moment, but the siren's gone off. Cassie down in the bin, and the emotion on the West boys in the chain in the box, sorry, the sub box there, just shows how much it means to them. And that's full time. Referee Baggio, he calls it the Magpies. You'd almost say if Newcastle beating. Penrith last night was the upset of the tournament. I dare say this would be a bigger one. Yeah, we. <laughs> it was a really entertaining game. Hopefully you enjoyed it at home. And as I said, it was um, probably probably a fair result in the end. I think West probably overall were that fraction better. I think the scoreboard reflected the, the game. And that'll do us for the moment. With Western Suburbs four defeating... Central Coast 3, it's a massive result for this pool and Beresfield are on notice for later this afternoon. We'll have a short break with Penrith and Banks down in the men's opens. We'll be back in just a few moments.